Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Torge Petersen. In this video I will show you an overview of the new changed and fixed functions and improvements as well of the guide and service tool version in 2022. Since 2021, Danfoss released the Plus One guide and service tool on a quarterly basis. In 2022, Danfoss released uh, four versions of guide and service tool and I tried to highlight the most significant changes, modifications and new functions. Like in the previous version as well, we are trying to improve existing features, make things easier and to speed up the handling of our tools regarding performance, editing and compiling. I will not show all changes in detail. Most of these changes are kind of yeah, minor or little changes to improve existing features and functions. Improvements like the existing features stating analyzer and the vector based screen editor inside the guide tool or the signal logger, the general editing and components in the service tool. But also new features like the plus one visualization and virtual breakout board has been added to the releases 2022.123 and 4. In parallel to the two platform tools guide and service tool, the plus one update center got some updates as well where mainly improvements um, took place. In the following, I will show not all of them, but I try to pick the most relevant or most useful ones. If you're interested, you can check the release notes of each tool for any little change, including the fixes. So let's start with guide version 22.1. Install LHX for Linux. This feature does not add any new functionality that didn't exist before, it just fixes a problem. Before 2022.1, it was not possible to install LHX files for Linux units into Plus One Service Tool. It is also worth mentioning that this feature only affects Plus One Guide and not Plus One Service Tool. You can therefore install an LHX file for a Linux hardware unit that is created in Plus One Guide 2022.1.2 into an older service tool. Static Analyzer Improvements. A static analyzer can be used to find dead and inefficient code and helps for checking uh, coding guidelines. This feature is part of the guide add-on. Code guidelines can be important to ensure the quality of code. And in this version, the static analyzer has been expanded by seven times more setting options to use over 40 different metrics. This tool in combination with the coding guidelines serve to ensure through the entire application lifecycle. As you can see, the option settings for the static analyzer has been increased a lot. All the settings can be exported and imported to and from an XML format file. The static analyzer can be enabled to execute after each successful check or compile and set a limit for how many warnings should be reported for each warning type. The static analyzer result is listed inside the error warning hint messages tab with the warning codes for detected warnings. Architecture and design settings relates to pages and used hardware connectors, pins and or unused I.O. pins. Each item will be identified via a respective warning code number inside the static analyzer. Layout settings to detect bus, subbus, route and ports related warnings. And coding settings to detect input output types, comments, unsafe types and duplicated names related warnings including components and their attributes with names not matching naming guidelines, which are defined as regular expressions. Also, the documentation related warnings can be set like disallowed words. And last but not least, quality assurance process settings to detect auto type constants, dead compon components, modules or pages, disabled code and unused components. New notes have been added in the hardware tree for programmable valves, electric converters and plus one partner products. And the latest change in plus one guide 2022.1 is a dialog that appears when closing the license manager if the license needs to be activated or rehosted. This is required because the selected license has been expired or the license needs to be activated or rehosted. This dialog supports the user in the required licensing process. Within the Plus One Service Tool version 2022.1, we have moved the evaluation status functions to the release function, even if we don't have released hardware or HWD available. That is a signal locker and the support of 32 and 30, uh, 64 bit float data types. These features has been added to the service tool to support future HWD and protocols. Another extension took place to the license manager, similar to the dialog added inside the guide tool. 
to help the user to be informed about the required licensing process. Inside the Update Center version 1.0.139, some changes have been done as well, like upgraded component called WebView inside the uh, Internet Explorer, which is used in the login window to display the web content. The new default download folder path is uh, used due to recent IT policies. Updated handling of the licenses to make the rehosting more clear, for example, and some fixed graphical issues show latest release of Plus One tools and correctly sorted products by version number. The 2022.2 guide release contains some little feature extensions like the vector based screen editor extension with additional floating point data types. Since guide does not support floating point, these data types can be used in pure use called inside the screen editor. Also inside the vector based screen editor image and text list now supports definitions as signals of the new data type image list and text list. These new data types allow the passing of a list into a list component, which was set in previous version only once. In addition, there's also a new output count that outputs the number of images or text in the list. One use case could be a widget, which displays a generic list and the PUU in the widget can do calculations based on the number of elements in the list. In the service tool 22.2 release, the probably most significant feature extension is the possibility to have multiple service tool instances running at the same time. In addition, it is possible to select to open associated files in an existing or in a new service tool window with a version 22.2.3 or 4 or any other future version higher than 22.2. In the service tool release 22.2, some new features have been added to the advanced pages as well. The components line chart and slider. The line chart offers the possibility to display up to 10 locked signals in a configurable linear diagram with zoom functionality. And the slider control to write automatically parameter values when moving the slider. Like the guide version is the service tool version 22.2, the first official version with Windows 11 support. Guide version 22.3 probably includes the most useful, desired and expected feature of the last years. The plus one visualization. In short, this new added feature allows guide applications to communicate via a new virtual CAN server. And this means that we don't have to use physical hardware to test our system. Simply explained, the connected guide applications send CAN messages to a central server, which forwards the messages to the other connected clients. Via this, it is possible to run several different guide debug um, applications simultaneously communicating as a system via the plus one virtual CAN gateway. This plus one virtual CAN gateway supports up to five virtual channels where each can be connected to a different CAN port. For a display application, it is possible to use a skin with the buttons and LEDs. Non-volatile memory components and read-only parameters can be handled as well using the implemented feature inside service tool called virtual breakout board. Please refer to video number 109, um, which shows an overview of the new feature, what it is, how to use it, and shows some use cases in combination with the service tool. In the service tool release 22.3, the virtual breakout board is the only added new feature. This new feature allows the user to connect to a guide application virtually without the need of any hardware. You can use any existing function inside the service tool when you are working in virtual mode connected to the virtual CAN server using a virtual CAN channel. Please check out video number 109, how to set up a virtual breakout board. In addition to the new feature virtual breakout board, some feature extension took place like um, the wishes word wrap in text component so that the text confirms to the size of the box. Simple arithmetic operations for designing the page, entering position and size, and also adding an image by simply paste images from clipboard and drag and drop images into the page area. Now we are getting to the latest release in 2022, which is called 22.4. 
In this version, no new features has been added, only some little feature extensions like uh, guide editing performance, as I said, where no new features has been added, but existing has been improved in the speed in the areas of routing bus, undo, redo, and copy paste, for example. And some new warnings and optimization in the PLC compiler area. Same for the service tool release 22.4, where no new features has been added, but some improvements, like the possibility to set and get the background color of parameter added fields and script function has been added and some more scripting feature improvements and new tooltip which can be used for parameter lookup table entries. We hope that you found this video useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.